Oh, no. uh, oh, 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 just fine. Okay. Yay. And the robot dance, which... Oh, I'm failing. I'm failing. Just fine. Indeed. Okay, sorry. We love your site. Okay, so after delivering such a huge blow to Hydra, do you think that Coulson is done with the challenges to his leadership? Oh, no. I think when you're kind of the everyman chieftain, you're going to expect that people are going to come at you from all sides. But I got a secret weapon. That's right. A couple of them, in fact. And uh, maybe it's one of the reasons why he's putting together the secret warriors. You know, I feel like Hydra always, you know, you cut off one head, others appear. I don't think we've heard the last from them. I think that there's some disgruntled inhumans out there, probably, and I think we'll probably expose some more of them. It's just the whole world of S.H.I.E.L.D. has become more fluid and changing, and Nick Fury's out there, and very interesting to see what's going to happen next. If I knew anything, I would hint at it, but I know Jack. Will your character continue to be torn between the two sides? Between S.H.I.E.L.D.? I think this season will be a nice... I think what they're... I hope what they do is they really blend it together, and I, I don't really want there to be sides. I want it to really be about us, you know, discovering Inhumans and not really... You know, having the humans and the inhumans work together because I, you know, I, I, I am a shield agent and I'm an inhuman, so I don't think, you know, I, I would really like to have that not be a problem again because I went through that season two. I can't do it again. It was too stressful. So is Lance ever going to forgive Bobby for lying to him? Um, well, I reckon so because she um, she took a bullet for him. So took a bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, he's, he's probably used to it anyway, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah, it really wasn't anything new. I mean, it's pretty no. much what their whole relationship was based on, is a lie. Uh, so. Yeah, no, I think the fact she took a bullet for him, then, he, you know, she, she kind of gets a free pass on most things. Yeah. She, in fact, she's going to give him hell for the rest of his life. She'll just be every time, she'll be like... Every time, yeah. Anytime he has anything to say. Yeah. Are they going to be able to work together in the future? I don't see why not. I'd, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones and, you know, work for the greater good. And I think at the end of the day, they, la they love each other. That's what it is. They love each other. And your character kind of chose the wrong side for the schism with S.H.I.E.L.D. How do you think she's going to deal with that? No, she, she didn't choose the wrong side. I wouldn't say that. You know, she thought what she was doing was right, and at the time it probably was. It's just, you know, things got askew and, and people went different places, and she couldn't control any of that. And she found her way. But, you know, I think that she made the decision she had to make in the moment because she's a soldier and she just wants the best for everyone, and, you know, she thought she was doing the right thing. So is May going to start trusting Coulson, or is the deception just too much? Um, that's a good question. I think there will always be a part of May that really believes Coulson, you know, is, is, has great intentions. Um, whether he is often misguided or whether he has his own agenda, uh, being agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they have to, because she wasn't always honest with him. So in that sense, it's sort of this dysfunctional relationship where, there is some built-in trust still. Are we going to be seeing more of her mother at all? I would love to. I would love to really delve more into May's personal life, you know, whether it's her relationship with Andrew, whether it's her family life with her mother. That would be, I think there's a lot of comedic moments that could be played out. Yeah. So is she going to get back with her ex-husband, or? We don't know. Well, let's see how that vacation goes, you know? Yeah. What do you think that your character's <laughs> learned from the big schism in S.H.I.E.L.D. Ooh, lordy. Um, be careful who you trust. Um, and not, not, not everything is as it seems. Uh, so make sure you do your research. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> That's really good. Uh, uh, the thing I think Mac maybe has learned is... Um, I mean, listen, Secret Wars is happening. How to use an axe. Yeah. How to use an axe, for sure. And loyalty maybe can only go so far. And now that everybody knows about the Inhumans, how does that change things? Hey there. Uh, I think it's going to put people on edge, you know. Um, but it's, 
I don't know, it's going to be a really interesting debate because uh, one of my fa favorite lines from my character in the season finale was, uh, uh, we're, not, we're not bad, we're misled. Um, so, which is, you know, like people, there are good and bad people. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see where S.H.I.E.L.D. aligns with Inhumans. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, well, if, if they're, I know they, they did say they're going to introduce Lash, right? The character yeah. of Lash. And, you know, the only superhero we really have is Mockingbird. So, uh, you know, Secret Warriors is going to be really important to S.H.I.E.L.D. Because there's no other way to fight these other superpower beings. Not saying all Inhumans are evil. So we're going to have to recruit some good ones, you know, some humans of integrity. Are they out there? 